Australian sovereign citizen driving around with smashed window from previous encounter with police gets pulled over yet again. Poifect. That sounds perfect. There's nothing funny about the tools of capitalism. Daddy Sumo with 10 bits. Free birth scum. The clans are superior. All hail Nicholas Kerensky. I'm, is that a 40k joke that I don't get? I don't know. Stellar Sea Cow, I disagree with that statement. It's perfectly safe to have your baby at home with the proper supervision. Hospital births are way more common in the U.S., but you can do it with proper with a proper midwife, and it's perfectly safe to do. I'm going to disagree with you on that one. <laughs> Wing the ultimate nug. Uh, are free births people the same people who have open periods and let their blood go in chairs and stuff? I have no idea what the overlap would be there. Daddy Sume with 10 bits. Battle Mac, Mac Warrior. Gotcha. Not familiar. Uh, Devious Chilster with 10 bits. In my experience, CPS Nothing would put him in the nearest the foster care capital. area. An orphanage or, like, forcefully enter the child into the system. There's some ways to do that. I hope there's some system in place where if they get older, they can be like, Hey, my parents were crazy and didn't get me a birth certificate. Can I have one, please? There's nothing funny about the tools. And Podian Squid with 10 bits. Free birth also doesn't include any pain relief of any kind or any parental care or the assistance of a midwife or doulas during birth. Uh, free births want to do it all alone without assistance and generally have no idea the position of the baby there's or anything. Funny about the tools you know, of capitalism. Not the safest thing in the world. Oops. I pledge to House Steiner, Claner, Scum, Glory to the Lyrian Commonwealth, says Logarth. All these There's memes. I don't get it. Hello, sir. What's the problem today? Oh, I've got these number, these cameras that read all the number plates, and it just told me the driver of this car is suspended. Well, good? I'm not the driver. Oh, you're driving the car now. I'm not driving, I'm just traveling. Right. Oh God, his window is literally smashed. He knows, you know what? You know what? At least the window's already smashed. The cop doesn't even have to bother this time. Why? Why do this? Why be so stupid? And on top of that, he's filming vertically. Like, come on. Come on, guys. Okay. Have you got your license? I'm not the owner, no I don't. All right, I just need some form of ID just so I know who's driving the car. Do you mind? Uh... No, you don't. I do, so you're driving a motor vehicle, I just need to... Uh... What, what business is it of yours? <laughs> Sir... Come on, buddy, we don't want to play these games, do we? No, I don't... I don't... Like I don't. So how about you go home, you do your thing, I'll go home, I'll do my thing. That's not how it works. You're driving a motor vehicle? It just I'm not driving, me, I'm just travelling in an automobile, or not, mate. Me, whether you're the registered owner or not, it just tells me the registered owner of this car is suspended. So I just need to make That's sure... good, but I'm not him. Well, I don't know. Do I match the description of I the guy? I don't know that. I haven't looked... How old's the guy? I haven't looked... Well, why, the guy. Well, why don't you look at that? And you'll find out that he's sir, probably, sir, please, he's look, probably like 50. What's what? your window, sir? He's literally just lying to the police right now. I, I'd imagine that's a thing in and of itself in terms of legality. Just lying to the police. <sighs> How old do I look? What's happened to your window, sir? It got smashed by you guys. By, while someone else was driving it. It's not my window, though. <laughs> I just picked it up. So. Good cover. You almost lost it there. A little bit on road, where did you, where did you pick it up from? From fine, straight panels. Okay, it's a little bit unroadworthy. Well, a little bit dangerous. We're, how, we've got to get it somewhere to fix it. How far do you have to take it? Right around the corner here. Oh, perfect. So I'm just dropping it off. That's, I appreciate all that, and that's fine. Yeah. I just need to know who you are now. So just in case you are the registered owner, so well, have a look at your paperwork. So It'll tell you how old the registered the guy that you're claiming has a suspended license. Regardless is. whether he's the driver or not, I can. See how old do I look? Like 25, maybe. Okay, so if you're going on that. Have a look at your Sorry, paperwork. Listen, That's not how it works. Besides that, I need to know funny who you are. You're driving the car. You don't need to know who I am. Right. Well, I'm just taking a guess that this has been smashed. Oh, Jesus Christ. MMO addicted. How would you pronounce... Shadira? There's nothing funny Zillerin? Capitalism. Oblodra. New D&D character. That's how. Uh, Daddy Sume with 10 bits. All hail. Comstar, all hail the savior of the inner sphere. I still don't get it. I still don't get it. Because similar sort of dealings, you just failed to provide ID. Is that, is that the right thing? I don't know why it was smashed. Oh. I just got asked to pick the car up. Okay, and that's great. Yeah. Fantastic. So that means that if you aren't the registered owner, you've done. he's done the right thing. He's got someone else to drive, which is brilliant. But now I just need to know who you are. Because For what reason? Because to make sure you're not the guy. I guarantee this is the guy. He's just lying. He's lying through his teeth. Because I've seen you drive the car. 
So look, and you what's that do, matter? So you either do or I'll have to arrest you. No, no thank you. That. No, I don't want to either. I'd no. rather you just do the right thing, I do the right okay, thing. Go look at your paperwork, no, buddy. I need to know who you I've are. I've told you what it is. I just need to know who you are, sir, and then that's it. No dramas, no silly business, just who you are and then you're out of here, okay? Simple. MMO addicted with 10 bits. That was actually nice, Hannah. Thanks for that. And Sume is making uh, battle mech jokes. Bad ones, of course. Fight, 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 fight. Thank you. What's this, sir? It's a notice to cease and desist. Okay. Police powers. Battle tech, sorry. So what you're telling me is that if I pull the driver over and you just provide me some documents, then I, I'm just, I'm just gonna let you go. Look at your computer, mate. Surely you're not that stupid. I know you're don't not that stupid. Ooh, yeah, probably don't call the cops stupid during your traffic stop. Even if the cop is stupid, just pragmatically speaking, not, not a great strategy. Okay, I haven't been rude I'm saying I know you're yes. not that stupid, I'm right? I'm making a little fancy video for YouTube, but you don't need to be rude. I'll be very respectful to you, you'll be very respectful to me. That's how it works. Yeah, okay? so very respectful and let no, me no, continue. I need to know who you are. Otherwise, I will have another unit down here and we'll have to go through that right. And I don't want to have to go through that. You no, you won't have to. So just provide me some ID, please, sir. For what reason? You're driving a motor vehicle. I'm not going to I'm not driving, I'm traveling. <laughs> Tell me who you are. And then we, we found, it makes people. me weirdly giddy every time they say it. I'm not driving, I'm traveling. It's always funny to me. Um, MMO addicted cop is being very reasonable and I like that. Yeah, whenever we watch the ones that are from like Australia or the UK, the cops are always very reasonable. I'm okay with like saying like, hey, fine, cool, good job, There's nothing copper. The, tools of it's the American cops that tend to get, you know... They turn the situation into, oh, now I have to hate everyone involved in the situation. He said the thing! He did say the thing. I hope you have a license, is that correct? Are you li do you have a Victorian it's license? It's nothing to do with you guys. It's absolutely everything to do with me. Do you have a license? How is it anything to do with you? Uh, There's nothing funny about Now, go look at your computer, you bud. from here, okay? If you leave from here. He's driving a murder vehicle and he thinks he can get away without IT. Yeah. Then you, we'll have to have more units trying to follow you, and then it's going to be a lot of drama that I don't want and you don't want. Just, okay, so you get in your car, you go, I'll stay here, works, and then once you're gone, I'll go. I also, something I really like uh, 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 about cops in, in Australia and the UK, and I'm not saying they all do this, but regularly when we watch these videos and it's cops from the UK or Australia, often they'll have like these fluorescent either vests or jackets on that make them very visible like hello i'm a i'm a cop if you need a cop right here whereas the american police don't do that There's they tend to wear like really very capitalism. dark colors like navy blue or black and it's like the, you know what i mean i don't know there's something a little nicer about the cop being like hello i'm a cop i'm right here rather than you know how American cops come across, which is not that. MMO addicted. I'd send you Polish sovereign citizens, but the language barrier. Yeah, that's a shame. Not how it works, is it? Yeah. Uh, provide me with your license, please. I'll give you one no, more thank chance you. to do it. Right. No, There's nothing funny here. about the no, thank you. capitalism. If you leave... Uh, Doom Smoothie. Glad this exists all over the world and not just the U.S. It makes me not worry about crazy American stereotypes. Oh, you should definitely still worry. <laughs> you should definitely still worry. It almost makes it worse, though. Like, if I can blame... If I could blame Sovereign Citizen, Karen-y, Anti-Mask, you know, crazy... Crazy behavior like that, Flat Earth, on just some cultural issue in the United States, that'd be nice, because that means it's a solvable issue. But if this exists everywhere, to some extent or another, then that's just a human problem, and that's a lot harder to fix. This is your choice. I'm trying to do is the right thing. Is this a threat? Thing. I'm trying to do the right thing. I haven't even finished speaking yet, all right? I love it. You can hold the camera all you like. That's fine. I don't mind that business. What I'm trying to do There's is just establish who you are. Tools. So who are you then? You who are you then? Antipodian Squid with 10 bits patrolling cops here don't wear the high-vis jackets, but the patrol vests have reflectors and high-vis stripping to make them very visible. Oh, that's good. Establish who you are first, sir. I'll tell you, I'm quite happy to tell well, you. Well, why would I don't have any need to prove you're any unmarked car. Mm -hmm. So you're not clearly police. I don't even have to stop for you. That's not true. Police can have at least. I'm. Um, this is the states. This is Australia. So might be different. In the states, though, yeah, police can have unmarked cars. There's they use them to catch people the who might behave if they see a police car. But 
around, you know, the general population. They don't. That's a thing. And we're addicted with 10 bits, Polish anti-vaxxers dressed up as Auschwitz prisoners, this move, this movement, and Polish sovereign citizens are very in bed. And then there's a link, but the link doesn't work. Maybe try posting the link again. Um, yeah. I don't even legally have to stop for you. I could have kept going. Untrue. Until, you according did, to your rules, the nearest part, police station. Part of your conscience did the right thing. You saw the lights. You, you saw my direction. To well, I over. couldn't get past you safely. And that was my determination. Which is fantastic. I yeah. was going to try and go around this Ooh, side because it was unsafe to go that way. That's that's distasteful. Okay? But then you pulled up further. I'll so ask, I'll ask you one more time, and then I'll you ask. know I'm not the registered, the supposed so owner of this car, don't you? You're a driver of a motor vehicle, okay? And I'm asking you I'm not a driver, I'm traveling. provide your details. Are you going to do it? Or How are you traveling? My are name's you? on that paperwork. Are you going to do it or are you going to be My honest? name is on that paperwork. That's a good start. There you go. If okay. you had to read it. What's your name, sir? Blake Connor, is that correct? That's it. All right. Wait here for me, please. You've got no reason to suspect me of doing anything wrong, do you? I, I didn't say you've done anything wrong, sir. Do I, you have a reason to suspect me of doing I anything wrong? I had a reason wrong. to stop you. The registered... Yes, the car was registered to someone who has a suspended license and you're driving around with a smashed window. Yeah, that's suspicious. Of this vehicle is suspended. You okay, so you stop me. Let's say that. Smashed window. Okay, so now I'm just trying to speak to you about who you are. If you're not the registered owner, that's fine. I need to know who you are. Well, you know that now, don't you? No, I don't. I need to know. I need a date of birth. No, I, some, yes, I don't know when I was born. There could be a hundred different. <laughs> I need to know who you are, and if you have so a child before in Victoria. Okay, do you have a license to drive in Victoria? Under duress, yes. Under duress, okay. So I should be able to find a license on you. Is that fair to say? You can, but it's all rights reserved. Well, right. no, sorry, you probably shouldn't because I've actually reserved all my rights with VicRoads, including the right to privacy. Right. I'll do my check now, sir. I'm going, thank you. You're not going anyway. Why, why am I being held? Now I can arrest you for not providing me the, the proper I'm I don't have to. to listen I'm... to me. I'm choosing not to do that because I don't want to go through all this crap. Do I not have 24 hours? Easy for you and easy Even for you. under your rules, negative, have 24 negative, hours? Because you could be anyone, sir. I don't know who you are. Okay? You could be anyone, too. You've got a little bit of paper in a sleeve. There's nothing funny about the tools. And Pony and Squid with 10 bits. Unmarked patrol cars are common here in Australia, too. You do have to legally stop. This guy has no idea how things worked. I'm shocked, I tell you. I thought this fine gentleman was so informed on the law. <laughs> Gotta watch this keyboard. It's got like dust all over it, but you know that dust that once it sits there long enough, you can't just like, it's like stuck to it. Unfortunately, just on, just on your name alone, I wasn't able to find a license. I'll need a date of birth. That'll make it a lot easier. And then you go about your day, I'll go about mine. Fair enough? Under duress, I'll give you my license. Well, I'm certainly not. You don't need to say under duress. If you feel you're under duress, it's, it doesn't necessarily need to be noted. <laughs> I mean, it's under duress in the sense that, yes, if you break the law, you're under duress for, you know... If you feel that following the law puts you under duress because you want to break the law, that's fine. As long as you don't break the law in that particular case. I'm not trying to put you under duress, mate. I just do my. Well, you are, because you're basically threatening to lock. What are you? Sorry. Threatening? Okay. Threatening? What? What? I've got a license. Fantastic. See? You can say I've got a no, license. I need to confirm it, sir. That's all right. I can just hold up the document. So what's going to happen if I don't give it to you? You'll be under arrest. Just until we can. Okay. So it, under right? duress, I will give it to you. Thank you, sir. Is that your name? Your address is uh, Apollo Bay, is that fair to say? 
That's what it says on there, isn't it? No problem. All right, can we just run this license number and just get this yeah. gentleman in here? Thank you very much. James Black, is it? Yeah, James and Black. S. Lone Police Station. Samantha. Samantha Tone. Toyne. Toyne, Toyne. Sorry, that's a bit of an odd one. Oh, Not odd as in the numbers. And you all well know I'm not the registered owner of this address, just looking at me, don't you? Sorry, of this vehicle. Of this vehicle. Yeah, you all know I'm not the owner of this vehicle, just by looking at that, don't you? 26 of hmm. the... It's pretty freaking obvious I'm not 50 years old, isn't it? Sir, I get, a, I, I, I get a tone that comes up in an alarm tone that goes off on my car when any unregistered, unlicensed driver comes past. That's fine, but you could have walked up to my window and gone, well, that's clearly not the guy. But I still... Not necessarily. You need to provide your ID. It would have been so quick. My goodness. I have to find out who you are because you're in someone else's car if that's the case. So I haven't had time it to... It doesn't matter. I've got out and had a spent... That's nothing to do with you. Is it reported stolen? Under the road safety act, mate, you've got to present your license right away if you're driving a vehicle on a... Only if I've done something okay. wrong. No, not if you've done something wrong. It's I have no motor. reasonable... So you didn't if do anything wrong as far as driving, but I told you the car came up... With I haven't done anything wrong in, haven't, as yeah. far as anything We're ever. 100%. I've done one thing wrong in my life, I got in trouble for it. Fantastic. What was that? That's irrelevant. I don't really... <laughs> then why'd you bring it up? Hello. Hey. What's up? Not much. Would you like a little bit of apple cider? Um, sure. Okay. Talk about it. Perfect. That sounds more important than this, doesn't it? The family dispute? Probably will be. Yeah, so maybe you should go deal with that rather than wasting your time here. It's not a waste of time, funny. Funny. It's it clearly is. Yeah, well. Tandy Sume, Baja, Hannah is being thirsty for your bits. That's a very strange way to say that I want your money. <laughs> oh, you know, I don't want it smashed either. Baja, I'm supposed to tell you Lexi says hi. Hello, Lexi. That's why I was driving so slow. Lexi is Sushi Mom's daughter that fell off a cinder block. Gotcha. Yeah, the other thing is, and, how, and you, how far do you have to go? Because this is an issue. If you're already knocking bits of glass out just like that, oh, I'll pull it all out. Just watch your fingers. <laughs> now you're doing it all over the road. Right, very, very fast. Oh, Jesus. No, yeah. We'll just, as long as you've got the bulk of it, don't, don't do it with bare hands, mate. You're going to hurt you. Nah, she's right. <laughs> He's going to cut himself. Go, all down. There's, there's Thank no you, Squid. They are being frustrating, but my. Um, my experiments are at least moving along slowly. And thank you for the 50 bits. Nothing yeah. that can end up in my eyes doing um, this. Random guy, 2324 real. Is this Baja's first visit? Into the room today on stream? I think it's my second visit. My, if you mean visit back to see Hannah since I left to go back to work, also, no, it's not my first visit. License is absolutely fine. Thank you for quick. Can I have my license? You can keep that. You can put that on your record. Keep okay, this one. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. And sorry, what was your name again? Jamie Davidson. Jamie Davidson. From Geelong Highway Patrol. Okay. From Geelong Highway Patrol. And just tell now, me. Now, next time. Just let the rest of the owner know. That's fantastic. Next time, use your head a bit. Right no, no, not use my hey. head a bit. Don't tell me how to do my job. I told and, you. I told and you and your car wasn't yeah. very sneaky pulling up near Vic Roads there. And I saw you go past as well. I'm up and down this road all day. I saw you go past. The, the black car that pulled up near Vic Road, seriously, pulled up right behind. Did, he, did that black car do anything? Did he pull you up? or because I saw him drive up here to have a look. Did you see this one too? There's police cars everywhere, so we're in, we're in, a, we're in an area where there's a lot of heavy traffic. Why do you think I'm, I was in this today, travelling? Because you registered owner. Because we knew it was a stitch up, right? He's clearly doing the right thing, and that's good to see. He's suspended. He no, he's not stuff. actually suspended. He's not? Okay. I've, I've seen the paperwork from Vic Roads that says oh, it's well, not suspended. Well, he should have drove down, I suppose. But, uh, well, he just didn't want to put up with your shit today, regardless, that's Regardless, on the system, it just tells us the registered owner is suspended. So, just out, of, just out of curiosity, sorry to change the subject a bit. Not at all. Why did you join Victoria Police Force? Very good job, very rewarding. Help people, keep people off the roads that shouldn't be on the roads. So do you think this is helping people? Yes. Do you think you've really made the roads any safer? You've sat here right near a corner. Wouldn't you have gone up there another 50 metres? Or what 100 metres? What do you do for work, sir? It doesn't matter what I do. Well, it kind of does because you're critiquing how I do my job. I, I wouldn't do that to you. Well, I always try and do my job so it doesn't in put anyone else in danger. 
Yeah. If I put no one else in danger, I've done a good job. If I put myself in danger, that's my decision, that's isn't it? it? Absolutely. Yeah. So I. Yeah, I just would have thought, that's why I wanted to keep going. I thought you would have gone up there a bit oh, further. The road, so we completely well, the road, so. you've got two cars parked on the road right near an intersection. Yeah. Just so everyone can see. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, that's I, I, know, I know no one should be coming around there that quick. That, that they are could be an issue. Whether but they if are. they do happen to be doing the wrong thing, you're just creating a worse situation. Do we agree? Okay, so yeah, I'm not doing my job very well then. So, so next time that? someone doesn't want to stop, maybe think maybe we should go up a bit further. And, okay, thank you. Because I, I like to give us all a safe place because... No, yeah. I like that, thank you. Further up there, there's a spot. Well, I didn't make it like that. Yeah. You guys did, so you can be proud of that. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. What you an too. ass.